Okay, so let's get started in Nuke Studio. Now, just a quick note, I'll be using Nuke Studio, and everything we look at will also be applicable to Hero. If we use any Nuke Studio exclusive features, I'll be sure to mention it. Now let's get a lay of the land. On the left here is our project window, where we have our project, our sequences housed, as well as our bins. On the right here is where we have all the thumbnails for the bins. Down below we have our sequence properties, we have our sequence timeline below, we have our properties for the clips, and then we have our viewer. The UI is very customizable. We can set out any custom layout that we want. We have some pre-built layouts uh, that come with the programs. You can also use the Shift F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6 keys to toggle through different pre-built layouts. Uh, Shift F1 is our conforming layout, and this is quite a nice handy one because you can get to your spreadsheet quite quickly. Now you can of course make your spreadsheet in any view and save that as a custom workspace, but having access to it just by quickly toggling over to it is nice. The spreadsheet is a very powerful portion of Hero and Nuke Studio. From here we can be selecting multiple clips, making mass changes, adding effects. Uh, if we wanted to go ahead and change uh, properties, we can select uh, a bunch of clips and then make those changes directly from here. It also has a nice linked view, so if we select something in the timeline, uh, it'll select it in the spreadsheet as well. And this is how we're going to import media, match media, if you're starting fresh with an EDL, an XML, or an AAF. So this is uh, definitely something you want to spend some time with as we can also be filtering and flagging shots of particular types all directly from within the spreadsheet. Now I'm going to jump back over to my finishing uh, layout for a minute and I just want to show you one other thing we've made. Because we're going to be focusing on review, uh, it's a good idea to build up your own custom layout. For instance, I have one called review and you'll see that it lays it out and it's very viewer centric. So we want to have a big portion of the UI dedicated to the viewer itself. Uh, we still have access to our timeline below as we want to be working with that. And you also have access to your project, node graph, curve editor, and dope sheet. So this is something that you can set up and it will travel across all the applications. Now if we have a look at how the sequence tracks are laid out, I've set this up for different stages of the pipeline. You see we have storyboards, then moving to animatics, lights, mats, we have particle simulation, lighting effects, all the way up to comp. Now this is a great way to set up your sequences. We have an organized timeline by department. This becomes especially useful for the review session if you want to isolate a stage of the production.